At the UN, the General Assembly also voting today to condemn the recent Palestinian suicide bombing. Police shoot a man who was dressed in a police uniform. Now the man's family demanding some answers. That story when we come back in 60 seconds. Escape perception. Embrace reality. The Accord for 2004 from Honda. At Sims, our automatic markdown price tag on all dresses shows you when and how much each markdown will be. When we receive a current $100 designer name brand dress, we price it $59. If it remains on the selling floor for more than 10 days, it's marked 50. More than 20 days, 42. And after 30 days, you can buy that $100 designer dress for $35. At Sims, an educated consumer is our best customer. A man impersonating a police officer was shot to death today by members of the NYPD after he pointed a gun at them. It happened in the Bronx, and tonight the suspect's family is demanding answers. I don't think my cousin do something like that. That's something that's really, really puzzling me about it right now. Tonight, family members of 35-year-old Stefan Signius want to know why his life came to such a bizarre and brutal end. Police say it started when Signius walked into this Sears store in Fordham Plaza dressed like a police officer, even wearing this badge, nameplate, and police medals. He was attired in uh, police-type cargo pants, uh, a turtleneck shirt commonly worn by uh, some members of the NYPD, a simulated gun belt. Strapped in that gun belt, this fake 9mm handgun. When Signius started acting suspiciously, a security guard inside the store notified nearby officers. When cops approached him, Signius ran to the intersection of Webster Avenue and 187th Street. That's when shots were fired. Witnesses say they couldn't understand why they were seeing cops shooting at one of their own. The guy was dressed in blue. It was, you know, like... The guys in blue going at one another, you know, it was pretty, like, mysterious to me. Police claim Signius pointed the gun at officers, refusing to back down. As far as I know, we fired first after this fellow refused to drop the gun. Now, remember, he continues to advance on our police officers with this gun in hand. His family, though, claiming he was shot in the back, and they want to know why. If he was that much of a threat, why did he get shot in the back? And tonight, the medical examiner's office has yet to reveal where Signius was shot. Meantime, investigators and family members are still trying to figure out why he disguised himself as a cop in the first place. Criminal charges could be filed as early as next week against those Long Island high school football players accused of sexually abusing younger teammates. Prosecutors in Pennsylvania have called a news conference on Monday to discuss the case. They say only that they have an announcement to make. Three varsity players were suspended from Mepham High School in Belmore, and the school has canceled the entire football season. The alleged attacks took place during a preseason trending last month in the Poconos. When we come back, Sam has a weekend AccuWeather forecast you very well may like. And a dramatic stowaway rescue during Isabel. That story and more next on Eyewitness News. Open your road to adventure. Saturday at 7.30, ABC7 presents The Reading Revolution. Jamie Lee Curtis shares exciting new ways to get your kids reading. Plus, see how scientific breakthroughs are helping people to overcome reading problems. Join ABC7's Bill Evans for The Reading Revolution. Saturday at 7.30, right here on ABC7. Are you sure about this? So this is that hill descent control feature. Right. The acclaimed Freelanders with hill descent and four-wheel traction control standard. So what'd you think? Piece of kick. Test one and yourself on the rock course at your Land Rover Center. Land Rover, the most well-traveled vehicles on Earth. Lease a Freelander S for $2.99 a month. What is it about love that makes us so stupid? Last weekend, audiences fell in love. Francis bought a house in Tuscany. With Under the Tuscan Sun. <laughs> 
It's touching, beautiful, seductive, funny, sexy, and smart. Unthinkably good things can happen. It's such a surprise. Diane Lane. It's freedom. Under the Tuscan Sun. Rated PG-13. See it September 26th. With its four-wheel disc anti-lock brakes, select track four-wheel drive, and smooth riding quadricoil suspension, Jeep Grand Cherokee has everything you could possibly want. It even comes in 10 different colors. Well, maybe 11. Right now, well-qualified buyers can buy a Jeep Grand Cherokee for $299 a month for 36 months and get our seven-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, proof that it's one of the best values in America. New York's one and only light music station. One oh six point seven light FM. I'm Diana Williams on up close this week. The view from Capitol Hill, New York Senator Chuck Schumer on jobs, troops in Iraq. And are we ready for another terror attack up close Sunday at 11? Bring back the old neighborhood. You hear that phrase a lot in New York City. Usually it's just a pipe dream. But now some of the folks in the heart of Canarsie in Brooklyn are trying to do just that. Call it economic CPR. And this time it just might work. Here's Sandra Bookman. For years, it was the seven block heart of Canarsie. The Avenue L shopping strip was the place to be. You remember when it was really hopping. That's right. As a matter of fact, the first movie I've ever gone to was in the Canarsie Theater over 50 years ago. And the theater is still serving moviegoers today, though Assemblyman Frank Sadio admits the street around it has lost its luster. What we need to do now is let some of the newer people who've moved here in these last 10 years to begin to understand the value of Avenue L as a shopping strip. Like many New York City neighborhoods, Canarsie has undergone a transition, especially over the last 10 years, from predominantly Italian Jewish to Caribbean. For a while, the changing clientele led some longtime businesses to close, but new enterprises have opened their doors. The vacancy rate here, only about 10 percent. The owner of this medical supply company is among those working hard to convince the disillusioned that Avenue L is making a comeback. It's hard. It's just like they don't, they don't have the belief, they don't have that. But I'm trying to push that spirit because I have it. I'm excited. I want to see the change. And there has been some change recently. Fresh blacktop graces the roadway and new decorative light fixtures are just weeks away. The improvements in part thanks to a task force of merchants, civic leaders and elected officials. The first thing we have to find out before we go off and spending taxpayers' money is what it is that people want to see here on Avenue L so that we can put it here, not just presume we know the answer. Facade improvements, more parking, better marketing, just a few of the early suggestions aimed at making Avenue L the place to be in Canarsie again. Sandra Bookman, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. A dramatic air and sea rescue today of a man stowed away on a ship entering New York Harbor in rough seas caused by Hurricane Isabel. NY